Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Vasi here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem that your Dell Inspiron 5570 laptop fan is making a lot of noise. So let's begin the video. Here I have the Dell 5570 the process will be almost same for all other Dell laptops. The first thing that uh, the problem that I am facing is that whenever the uh, my laptop is in load then the CPU fan is making a lot of noise as you can hear right now. So the solution is that in most cases your fan may be dirty the CPU fan so all you need to do is to open your laptop lid get the fan out clean it remove any dust a uh, little bit oil it and then put it back on your laptop and your f uh, laptop fan will not make any noise but in my case the laptop fan is still making noise because i think the bearing is loose and it needs to be changed so i have already cleaned it but still the problem arose so it means that i need to change the fan of my laptop so if you have a dell 5570 you're going to flip your laptop over and you're going to have different screws that you need to open so in order to open the dell 5570 all you need is a phillips head screwdriver other than that you're going to need two of these pvc cards any of the extra pvc cards that you have lying around to open the lid so in order to open the dell laptop first of all you need to open all of these screws so let me just open them so the one thing when you open these screws is that these screws come in different sizes so make sure that you uh, put them in the right position somewhere else as well if i have moved this screw then i will put somewhere where i remember that it was from this part and if i'm going to open this screw i will just put it uh, on top of that screw so i know the location because again these screws come in different sizes once you have opened all the screws you're going to pull your hard disk drive bay out and once you pull it you're going to see that you're going to have two additional screws here as well which you need to unscrew now that all the screws have been unscrewed we are going to uh, open the lid now with the Dell 5570 it really sucks when you want to open the lid for this you are going to use your PVC cards uh, here on the side you are going to put one of your card in and it's going to go something like that and with the other card you are going to put it in uh, somewhat like this kind of position and now you are going to use the second card to unlock these locks again do it gently you might hear some sound but that's okay because these are some plastic locks as you can hear so you need to do it for the hole put one card in slide the other card and do it for the whole laptop bay and your cover should come out like so again a little bit hard but it should come out here you can see the cpu fan which is making the noise the first thing you can do is to open the fan clean it uh, dust it do a little bit of oiling not too much as it's going to spill on your motherboard and yeah it should work but in my case it's a bearing problem that's why i got this replacement fan you can check the replacement fans on google so i really don't know its name i just bought it from aliexpress i typed the fan name on aliexpress and it showed up so what i'm going to do is that first of all i can see that the mounts are exactly the same which means that this is a compatible fan and now i'm going to replace the old one with the new one the first thing that you're going to do is what i suggest is to unplug the battery from here now that the battery has been unplugged we can unplug the fan uh, socket or shoe as well so it's a little bit hard from here what we can do is to first open the screws of the fan and then unplug the connector after that you can simply pull the fan out and you got this little wire as well here on the side and here we go and we're going to unplug it here is the old fan and now i'm going to replace it with a new one in the old fan you can see that there is a dot and in the new one there is a dot as well which we can use for guidance when plugging it again now looking at the point and it should go up so you can see it's going to go in fairly easily and it's only going to go in one way so if you're doing a lot of force then you should know that you're doing it in the wrong way after that 
the wire can be bent a little bit trying to first of all see its position of course this black wire should go into its place as well we can just simply screw the fan back in place once the fan is secured and the wire i'm going to reconnect the battery plug and now that the battery is plugged in i'm not going to close the lid right now because i want to check whether this new fan is working or if i haven't done anything wrong here you can see that the laptop fan is spinning right here uh, i don't recommend this method where you have the lid open and you power on your laptop but it is working uh, you can do it to check before closing the lid because it is best to check first but in many occasions you're not going to tell it right away because when you're going to start your pc the fan is not going to work in most cases or power on because the cpu is already cool the fan will start running when the cpu begins to get hot uh, i can't show you right now but at the back of the laptop like i have a cpu plus gpu render test so i wanted to make the uh, cpu go hot and to see whether the fan is working it is working now i can just simply long press the power button to kill the power and once the power is killed i can now calmly close all the lids because even if you bought a new fan you do not know for sure whether the fan is going to work or not now i'm just simply going to do it close the lid and screw all the screws back in so yeah guys in this way you can solve the problem that your Dell 5570 laptop fan is making a noise and how you can replace it. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you have any other questions, write them in the comment section below. And if you have subscribed to my channel, please do so. Other than that, thank you for watching and as always, stay safe.